Yeah, what's going on, Savage Army? Favorite bag I throw Montana back at it again, but this time with an early edition of some news. That is right, folks. We are back and once again talking about CGC and in good old CGC fashion. Like I told all of you guys out there, nothing was going to happen. That is right, nothing. So before we get into anything further, guys, we're gonna find out about how CGC comics grading was never gonna do anything to the scammers like they were initially claiming. You already know how the spiel goes with that, so stay tuned for that. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, guys. It goes a long way for the algorithm and the building of this channel here. If you guys love transparency, you love truth, then this is the place to be. All right, don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys don't miss out on absolutely anything. And last but not least, Big shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the Savage Army. Shout out to all the members. That's right, you guys, the ones, my sponsors, because I don't take sponsorship from nobody. You guys are the ones that sponsor me, so I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. If you'd like to sponsor the channel, guys, and become a member of the channel, all you got to do is click the join button right where you subscribed initially. Let me go ahead and see who the early birds are here in the building. We got GT Key Comic in the building. We got my brother Okinawa Jawhead member of the channel. Thank you, my brother. We got Tony NY Jr. He said, damn, it's early. He's like, you woke me up. Got Rasta Bob in the building. Happy Friday, Savages. What is going on? Uh, we also have Comics and Kicks in the building. What's going on, Planet Arizona Comics? Says, someone didn't go to bed last night. Was good, Thorough. Happy Friday. Oh, I, I was in bed, man. I got to get my Z's in. Brian Klotz is in the building. What's going on? Uh, GT Key Comics said, Thorough, how is CBCS supposed to take market share away from CGC when they offer practically no customer service? Ever try to get a hold of a CB, uh, CBCS customer service? At least you can call CGC. And yes, sir, I've been there. This is another reason. Like I said, people hear me talking about CGC all the time. But I will tell you right now, I've had my issues with CBCS. They're, they're not they're not free from, from all the crap that's been going on. This is one of the reasons why I don't uh, grade my books anymore. I don't sub, you know, submit anything for grading. That That is just me. I think the closest I'm going to get to grading uh, is because of something that I'm interested in right now, and that is the manga grading. I'm actually interested to see how they're going to grade my manga. I want to see how they go about grading in the process. So that might be the closest thing that I will get to sending or submitting anything into grading, period. Uh, we also got my man, Andre Ryan Gravador. What's going on, my brother? It's been a minute. Uh, you well caught in the building. Uh, wow, call on live. CGC is a scam from the beginning. Uh, we got a member of the channel, Comic Toby, throwing up those no bozos. That's right, man. Not, not average all day, every day. You know the motto here. Uh, Brian Klaas says, CBCS, uh, great when you need to call them. That's been my experience. When they have screwed up billing, email to fix it. That's man. Listen, at least you you're having a good uh, a good experience. We got my brother Luis Pagan in the building. What's going on? So let's get right into business, man. Because it's like I kept telling everybody. Everybody has heard me. I have the receipts there all day, every day. Never put out the names of these freaking gentlemen as followers, Ulysses, and uh, and uh, and Mister Breva. I think it is. And initially, when I told you guys, I knew about all of this stuff before anything was being spilled out from the from the jump. People were saying, oh, you're just coming up with stuff. Uh, you're, you're just making all the. No, this was all real. Only thing is, I couldn't put out anybody's name because it has not made its way into court. Now that these are legal public documents that everybody and anybody can see, you guys can automatically go ahead and check for yourselves who it is that the uh that the plaintiff is so on and so forth okay so as of lately big shout out to paul lesko make sure you guys follow him on x um paul lesko who is a hobby lawyer he knows his stuff he knows his way around all of this and i couldn't find a better person to follow on x when it comes to everything and anything uh you know collectibles let's just put it that way uh so according to paul lesko he said and the defendants won't respond to the complaint in CGC versus Zanello because the parties have made significant progress towards reaching a resolution. So this case is now 
in its last legs. It'll be settled soon and then will be over. I wonder why. Once again, folks, if you heard me say this before, you're going to hear it again. CGC loves to get rid of this bad rap, this bad limelight that's always shining on them by pretty much killing everything as far as it goes. Remember, when you guys heard good old Matt Nelson, good old Matt Nelson on Dave Venger's podcast, shout out to Dave Venger's. He went on there and specifically said how he was just going to lay it all out on the table and they were going to go and just go to the fullest extent of the law on these people for doing what they're doing. They're bad. Let's give them the good old slap on the hand. And the good old slap on the hand, like I told everybody, CGC wasn't going to do anything but pretty much come down with a civil lawsuit because they were not the direct victims. This is the funny part about all of this is that when I was letting people know that the worst thing they could have ever done was submit your books back, all the books that have been tainted, submitting them back to CGC, that was the worst thing anybody could have done. And why? Because now you eliminated the process when it comes to being a victim. You make CGC this third party victim. They become that that third party victim, and all they can do is file a civil lawsuit because nothing happened to them directly themselves. They weren't the initial party that got bamboozled. So now the people that could have held on to their items, could have held on to these books, made a police report. This is what I say. One thing that everybody will come to learn, folks, is you are better off holding on to that said collectible than submitting it back to anybody that does grading of anything because all they're going to do is try to get rid of the bad rap. And that is exactly what CGC is doing. Look how quick, look how quickly, it hasn't even been months, guys, but look how quickly this whole damn thing has gone by and now how quickly it is already ending. I don't see nobody in jail. I didn't see any of the, the couple that, that was working at CGC doing any card time like they were talking about. You ain't going to see any of that. So again, for anybody that wants to look further into this, look, just go and follow Paul Lesko. Paul Lesko has been keeping up with this. Like I said, nothing was going to freaking happen in the long run. A lot of people were all clapping their hands and were like, oh, my God, you caught the bad guy. They didn't do nothing. They didn't do anything. That, 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 was, that was the point of it. They want to get rid of this as quick as possible. They don't want to make this long and dragged out like normal court cases are when you have criminals. But if the people who were bamboozled by these folks would have held on to those items and made their own police report, then you 100% could have gone after them and they could be in jail right now. That is what is not happening because of that reason. So now people need to become wiser. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from this especially because this has become major. This has been tainting CGC for quite some time right now in the last couple of months. Wouldn't be surprised to see more stuff coming out. If you guys honestly think that, what was it, 350 books? were the only things that were affected, I'm going to beg to differ. I guarantee you that sooner or later, you're going to start discovering that there are more slabbed comic books out there that have been tainted. Because these two folks, Ulysses and Bree Riva, none of them, none of them, you better believe that they weren't just the only two playing in on all of this. I've made mention of this before. People want to call it allegations, call it what you want. Showed pictures, okay? And people want to think that these were the only ones. This is out of the investigation that CGC conducted, which you know they just conducted through an investigation company that that's online. You guys can go look at the history, go look at some of the videos I just did. And that is all they're going to freaking tell them is, okay, well, we found out some discrepancies right here within this. But this is all we know. There is a lot more to this, guys. This is a big freaking game. And there is a lot of freaking big players within the game that a lot of us 
don't want to want to act like we don't know that they exist. We want to act like we we freaking like like it's not happening. It is. It's freaking happening. So the people that are roaming around scot free in reference to this, they're lucky because these two right here apparently aren't ratting them out. They're not gonna say nothing. But that is just what I want everybody to keep in mind that the collectibles game is very, very volatile. Now you start to sort of better comprehend if you've been watching the channel as to why I don't call these damn things investments. I hated that word. Hated it. And then finally gamble kicked in. Gamble kicked in and that was the best word you could have ever used. Gamble because you know that you might win or you might lose. That That is the only two options you have. And that's about it. Um, let me see who else is in the building right now. Uh, we also got Necro Capitalist Comics in the building, man. Good morning to you, my brother. Good to see the homegirl, Victoria. We got Joey Bags in the building. What's going on? Uh, Luis Pagan said they had to settle out of court. These people would have spilled the beans and made CGC look like the villains they are. And of course, you know that an NDA, all that stuff is going to be in play. We got my man, Robert Galvin, the comic book G-Man in the building. What's going on, Robert? Good to see you, my brother. You know 100% that they had to do that. They, they had to go ahead and make sure that these guys are not going to talk about anything. And if they do talk, they're going to be screwed for the rest of the time. There's going to be something else in the works for them if they come out and talk. So even if myself or anybody out there in the world of YouTube or any social media platform decided to reach out, just like they said, yeah, and the defendants won't respond to the complaint. It's because they're shutting them up. They're telling them you can't speak. You can't say absolutely nothing about this. Anybody questions you about this case, you cannot say nothing to them because something worse is going to come down the pipeline for you. Uh, Luis Pagan said, these people knew the ins and outs. Thief that steals from a thief gets 100 years party. Facts. Facts, my brother. Great freaking way of putting that right there, man. We also got uh, Kenneth Bird in the building. What's going on? Mr. Lee Rogers is in the building. What's going on, brother? He said, yeah, they had him sign an NDA to shut them up. There you go. And this is why I said, man, this is why I love you, Savage Army, because you guys are freaking wise. You guys are smart. I love it. I love to see this because you guys know just as much as I do all the freaking bamboozlery. I don't even think that's a word. But all the shenanigans that has been being played out by CGC freaking continues. But like I said, for anybody, if you are watching this channel, the best piece of advice is become is is to better educate yourselves become wiser about how you go around purchasing things from any of these grading companies and here's why we don't know again there is way more than 350 freaking books that were tainted don't care what anybody tells me out there not only that you guys just saw the recent acquirement just did a video on that the recent acquirement of JSA to go ahead and authenticate signatures that is very telling, ladies and gentlemen, of what is coming down the pipeline. They are they know in order for you to go ahead and acquire somebody like that, they know that something is wrong within the walls of their company. They know that their freaking signatures, which we have verified here on the channel. We got good old Javon Jordan, artist, comic book, uh, freaking cover artist, so on and so forth. You guys have seen him. He was here in the chat. When we were talking about Epic Nation and Epic Nation forging signatures and then passing it on to the signature witness, Albert, for him to go ahead and say, yeah, this was signed by Javon Jordan. This was done this way. This was done that way. Mind you, this guy, Albert, freaking does his own events, his own comic book events. I know some people are going to go into question and say, oh, yeah, you know what else, though? He's like, they, they pick and choose. CGC picks and chooses who they're going to use as a witness. Okay. What does that mean? That's not going to stop anything. If I was a witness for CGC and CGC is like, hey, we want you to go and witness this event. Who's to say I don't tell my buddies and say, hey, bro, how about this? Check this out. So they're, they're allowing me to witness this next event as so and so. Let's say Big Apple Con, for example. They, they allow me to be a witness there. Guess who's going to be there? You got any signatures that you didn't get verified or, or witnessed? I got you. And that's it. Those little sorry excuses of any of that stuff that I've heard from people, people DM me and they'll tell me, bro, but can't really say that because 
these witnesses are picked at random as to where they're going to go. It don't freaking matter. It don't matter. That is how it freaking works out. I have freaking witnessed this crap my damn self. So we can't say that it doesn't go, you know, that, that that's not going to happen. It happens. It has happened. So all these signatures, we don't know if they're real. So this is why I said you 100% better believe if you guys are savvy enough, you would right now at this very moment, unless the deal is too good to be freaking true and you're getting a hell of a deal. I would not be touching a slab right now, anything slab, because you don't know. You don't have that 100% confidence. You don't have that 100% guarantee like CGC once freaking provided us with. You don't have any of that. As soon as anything, this is where I want people to be wiser, uh, become wiser about things, is as soon as you have anything tainted and they can't contain it, that is when you have a big issue. When they're not acknowledging the fact that, yes, there are freaking tampered signatures out there, so on and so forth, then that means that there are more tainted books. doesn't just have to deal with the scam that Ulysses and Brie Reva pulled off together where they were good doing the good old switcheroo and saying, oh, yeah, guess what? This book over here is a Mark Jewelers when they went ahead and took out the Mark Jewelers and replaced it with, one, with a book that wasn't. This is what I try to put across all across the freaking board to everybody is be very wary. Not only that, you start to see all the wonderful tactics. Big shout out to CGC's PR because they do a wonderful job on trying to prevent any bad light from, from keeping on spreading. They don't want that wildfire to go crazy, right? So then all of a sudden they introduce a 9.9 .9 pre-screen. You start to see 9.9s going around everywhere. Has anybody noticed that? Yeah, you could go ahead and see it everywhere. I'm watching all these shops, these people coming out with exclusives. I got a 9.9. .9, I got a 10. Then a video comes out talking about how you can achieve 9.8s, 9.9s, and 10s. So now what's going to happen? The market is going to fluctuate so insanely. What is the point of you wasting your money on anything right now? Calm down, slow your pace down, and you'll find out. Because as of right now, there is absolutely a buyer's freaking market. Books have gone down so dramatically. And if you think I'm lying, go and research for yourselves. Go on eBay. Go look for one of your favorite books. Go look at some of these auctions out there. Some of these auctions are actually pretty freaking hilarious. I've been watching and I've been monitoring some of these auctions out there. You know, Mr. Pink? Yeah, Mr. Pink might be back in play on a lot of things. There's certain books that are not selling for the prices that they want them to sell for. And I find it amazingly freaking funny. How a lot of this crap works out. And when, uh, again, the, the beautiful thing about this is how much I love the Savage Army as a whole. Because you guys, you guys come out and you guys even notice it yourselves. It's not like something that I'm the only one noticing and people going to say, bro, you're crazy. You're losing your mind. Yada, yada, yada. No, 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 no. A lot of you folks out there are freaking paying attention to all the crap that's going on and all the shenanigans out there. Shout out to a fellow Savage Army soldier by the name of Classic Collector 1984. So Mr. Classic Collector 1984 put up something and he just said he's like, they, they, they know, they know. So shout out to them. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. Guess Mr. Pink had his hand up his stink when bidding on these. LOL. So this book was at a hundred at a hundred thousand dollars. Didn't they that, that's not where it, that, that didn't get sold to nobody. All right. That's something that, that you guys want to realize right off the bat. That didn't get sold to nobody. They didn't get the price that they wanted. Go and backtrack and look back at the initial uh sales for some of these books. This is the first X-Men, X-Men number one at a 9.0. They know that they want a lot more money for these books. So none of this stuff is really going to sell for what it's selling for. You see, look, they have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, yellow label, signed, signature series, signed by Kevin Eastman, sold for $120,000. You know very well that did not sell for $120,000 to absolutely nobody because you know they wanted way more money. What were the last initial sales of 9.8s? Back in the days for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. The damn things were selling for damn near 400, 500K. Okay. 
So now you start looking at the fluctuation from the initial uh, amount of money and who knows how much these folks invested into it. Then you know they're going to want their money back for it. They're not going to lose out on it. Same thing right here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, very fine near mint, 9.0, 9.0 blue label. Sold for 17710 You catch my gist, right? You'll start realizing, you'll start noticing how all these prices start to fluctuate. Right now, comic books are not freaking selling for the prices that people think. Right now, it is an extreme buyer's market. For some odd reason, and I know that reason, the comic book market has freaking gone down dramatically once again. I don't care if Deadpool's coming out. I don't care if X-Men 97 was pretty freaking good. None of that crap is going to save the comic book market. A lot of people are starting to realize that there is a lot of shill activity going on around the good old comic book community, if you want to call it that. So, again, Classic Collector 1984 said, guess Mr. Pink had his hand up his stink when bidding on these. Or he was probably busy enough trying to keep the Tech 27 6.5 alive, LOL. Because that's been the same 27, Detective Comics 27, first Batman for anybody that doesn't know, if you're brand new to comics, that was on Golden and Golden Auctions, who was actually going through a freaking lawsuit in reference to a LeBron James card right now, uh, that was on Golden that sold for the same price about a year and a half ago, LOL. It would be much easier to say we want to net two million for it rather than whoring it out all over the place and playing games with it. LOL. But anyways, still some declines coming, and those declines are all over the damn place. All over the freaking place. But well, big shout out to Classic Collector 1984 on this because they know their stuff. That's what's up. I'm enjoying watching this stuff that everybody's acknowledging all this shill activity that just goes around freaking comic books and not just comic books but collectibles as a whole and for anybody that wants to look further into the golden uh debacle like i like to call it go and follow paul lesko shout out to paul lesko paul lesko is actually keeping up on that freaking court case between the parties the owners of the card from when they initially bought it from the golden auctions house and now they're going back and forth because apparently that card was fake yeah, there, there's a lot going on, man. There is a lot going on when it comes to collectibles. So again, be be just just be savvy, guys. Be savvy. Do your research before you buy into anything. Same thing is happening. Yes, the other day I spoke about it. eBay, eBay Live. I, I I couldn't even trust that shit as much as I'd want to. Are there good people out there? Yes, good people that I will recommend everybody and anybody out there to start highlighting. Start highlighting these good people. I'm going to start doing it on here myself because I found it funny when I saw someone, I can't even remember who the hell it was. That's how uninterested I am in a lot of this stuff. I knew eBay Live was going to go down the same pathway as whatnot. Somebody was on there going around and saying, oh, well, eBay Live is for adults, people who, who show transparency. We're not nowhere near what these folks are over at whatnot. Meanwhile, they're selling a damn Wolverine 1 facsimile foil cover that you can buy for $7 all day long. They ended up selling it to 70, for $77 to somebody, some, some freaking dumb dumb that decided not to do the research. They went ahead and they clicked bid the bid button, and all of a sudden, $77 freaking dollars is sold for. I couldn't record the damn thing. I couldn't take even a screenshot because apparently, I guess eBay Live is doing the same thing that Whatnot does protecting their sellers by going ahead and saying, hey, if you want to, you can have the option of preventing people from recording your lives or freaking taking any screenshots of anything that you sold. That's exactly what the hell is happening. So now you guys are starting to catch the gist of a lot of the bullshit that has been going on around everything and anything collectible. There's a lot of stuff going on outside of these walls. There's other stuff that I dabble in. I love to dabble in vintage clothing. You look at vintage clothing, there's people passing off fake freaking vintage clothing all the damn time. You see a lot of different things in play. You see the same thing with sneakers. People trying to pass off fake sneakers for being the real uh, the real stuff, and then they end up getting caught up in it. Coins is another notorious freaking collectible right now. It, it, it's, it's all over the damn freaking place. And again, please don't be gullible. That is the reason why I, I expose as much as I can here on this channel. There's a lot of garbage going on. 
and it's not to bring down anybody. So like I said, it's to hopefully change the ways that these people like to do business hope with hopes. That's all I'm going to sit on is hopes. I don't hope too much. But when it comes to hope, that's what I hope for these folks, that they decide to freaking make something better out of the business. That CGC finally decides to be a little bit more transparent than the, what they really are. Start showing people that, yes, these books shouldn't be out there on the market. These books should be freaking taken off right now. These books should be, uh, you know, I don't even know how many people freaking submitted their books back to CGC in reference to this whole freaking case. Have no freaking clue. Have no idea. Been trying to keep track of it, but there really isn't no freaking way to track. There might be somebody else that doesn't dabble in the, you know, with, with, with anything that's going on in social media, doesn't check their CGC emails. I don't freaking know. There's a lot at play with this, man. Uh, let me see who else we got in here in the building. So Comic Toby says, man, I'm glad I don't I don't F with CGC. What not eBay Live, all of them. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, watch the people on both ends. They're good people and whatnot, because I know I get a lot of a lot of freaking I, I catch a lot of slack from people saying, yo, but there's good people. I understand that. But those good people need to start calling out the bullshit, too. This is the problem that I have is that nobody wants to call it out. Call it out. Stop being scared. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to you. As long as you had the receipts and as long as you have everything there and you know that nobody can say that you're lying, there is absolutely not a damn thing for you to be worried about. The only thing you can worry about from whatnot, from what I've known and what I've seen people experience is getting blackballed. That is about the only freaking thing. At that point, it's like, man, you know what? Find another avenue to sell. There are plenty of avenues to freaking sell on. But now, again, like I said, eBay is going down that same freaking path. They're doing the same exact freaking thing. Uh, the comic book G man said now they're doing safe verification in reference to CJ. Yeah, we'll see about that. that I, I'm, I'm going to find it real funny. What I would love to see is if they're going to tell people, hey, if you feel like your slab or your signature in your slab is not is not real, send it in. We'll, we'll see how that works out. HMJ in the building says CGC wanted a quick pay. Not really. They, it's not even about the payday, man. It's more about getting rid of this. This is this is just a bad freaking streak in the, in in their freaking, you know, on on their damn nice little clean board right now. And that that board ain't clean no more. Lee Rogers said, "Ah, I, I too am done with slabbing. If I do, it will be with CBCS." And CBCS, man, I don't get it. But CBCS, they got their own problems. Uh Kujin, what's going on? Good morning, my man. Good to see you. Uh, that, you know, it, it's, it's insane how CBCS doesn't take advantage of this. Again, I give a lot of credit to CBCS of how just tamper freaking evident. Cause I know everybody, I, I almost call it tamper proof because those damn slabs of theirs are, are freaking impossible. I've cut myself trying to open up their slabs. And, and this is even initially before they came out with their new stuff and their new stuff. I've seen it in person. When I go to shops and now people are displaying the new uh, the new cases, they look beautiful. I'll give them credit on that. Hawaiian Punch in the building. Coco Love Chevy, what's going on? Aggressively relaxing. Good morning. Uh, I said, I just want to say I appreciate you giving these guys a hard time. Listen, it's not, uh, again, I, I freaking call out the BS when I smell it. All right? And this is complete freaking BS. Uh, to be in PHA says, who are we mad at today? Grr, nah. Ain't nobody mad, man. I'm, I'm a happy camper. I woke up this morning just like everybody out there should be. You wake up. You have that opportunity to open up your eyes. Be happy. Raging Cajun's comics. The only people you're going to see mad whenever I do these things are the people that invested a lot of money into freaking CGC. Those are the people that are going to be mad as hell. Uh, Rasta Bob in the building says, speaking of Epic, how do you feel about Kirkham doing the Crow exclusive? Man, I, I, I spoke about it. I said I could care less. I stopped, I stopped freaking supporting anything from Kurgum when he was doing those battle damage BS that they were putting out there to the masses, which you know you could buy for like a dollar, two dollars an hour on eBay because those things are worthless, just like a ton of other books out there that have become completely freaking worthless. Um, Speaking of, man, big shout out to my boy Manny, the comic collector, because Manny, the comic collector, yo, he, he freaking... Um, he actually hit me up, I think it was yesterday, 
Um, and Manny, the comic collector, hit me up with something that is very evident of how this freaking, you know, of, of how how this industry tends to tends to go and how and how it just sways in the wrong direction. So I got to I got to give my boy Manny, the comic collector. Let me see if I can find it real quick while I'm on here. But my man, Manny, the comic collector freaking shot me something that I was I, I was fucking cracking up, yo. Um, he, he goes, he's like, dude, he's like, have you seen this? And I was like, I know I have not. So what he sent me, all I could do was just smile and just laugh at that whole freaking thing. Cause I found it extremely hysterical how this shit freaking pans out. So for people that always said that, oh my God, these things are going to be major hits. Remember how you used to hear a lot of YouTubers, people on IG, people on TikTok, People all over social media, every freaking social media platform, Facebook, yada, yada, yada. You've you've heard them absolutely tell everybody. I've seen it. I've, I've freaking witnessed it my damn self where everybody is going, yeah, these books are hot. This is the hottest thing. Yeah, well, you can expect all like these battle damages and everything to fall along the same lines as this. If you guys have not seen this, all right, shout out to Cover Price. But look at the difference from freaking COVID. The COVID era, guys, look at the difference when it comes to these books. Remember when this book, to this day, I don't even know how to pronounce the damn name, Enayak, Eniac, I have no damn idea. All I know, it was a bad idea, for real, for real. And this was from Bad Idea Comics. Again, shout out to my man, Manny the Comic Collector. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. Manny the Comic Collector just showed, as of March 2021, a raw copy of this book was going for $225. As of March 2024, this book has been selling for under six bucks. A graded 9.8, March 2021, $700. March 2024, not even enough to cover the price of the grading process. Again, receipts ladies and gentlemen receipts and that is all you have to have here man all you need is receipts longer than cvs and that is very freaking damning and telling let, let me bring this back because this ain't ai this this <laughs> this ain't ai like a lot of people love to claim they used to love love to use that as a scapegoat now ah uh, it's ai it's uh, this is a lie no no it's not it's it's 100 something that is going to freaking happen continuously, and uh, and again, you want you want to tell me you you want me to tell you why I don't support Tyler Kirkham because of the BS. All these artists, every single one of them, everybody. So now you get a better understanding as to why I said the comic community, comic community where, comic community is only developed when there is self interest. The comic community is only there when people want something out of it. That is when the comic community freaking plays itself out. Other than that, forget it. Forget it. Again, this is why I said, man, you guys develop your own communities, your own brotherhoods, sisterhoods, whatever it is that you guys want, develop it within yourselves. You know the good people who you need to be surrounded by. Those are the people that you need to keep with you by your side at all freaking times. This is, again, just proof of everything that's going on when it comes to comics. I sat back. I ate my popcorn when people were calling me crazy years ago and telling me, you just talking a whole bunch of nonsense. You don't know nothing about comic books. You don't know nothing about the market. I'm going to go follow this guy over here who says comic books to invest in for 2021, comic books to invest in for 2022. Well, it all freaking played out in my favor. Like I said, the truth shall set you freaking free. And the truth has set my ass free. Because I have seen it, I have freaking dealt with it for years on end. And now finally everything is coming out. But nobody cared in the initial process of all this. Everybody was so caught up in trying to make that quick freaking dollar and trying to do what they wanted to do. But now officially you guys can see how much of a decline there, there is. Free money during that time of 2021, 2022, everybody was spending out the ass. And now all of a sudden you look at books sort of like this, it goes to show you too, when I've seen a lot of people who have said, yo, this is a bunch of BS, 
I'm tired of seeing all this crap being put out there. You guys were the smart ones. You guys were the real ones. And for the people that have noticed, at least, and you guys are paying attention to all the crap that's happening, kudos and props to you as well, man. Because I used to be one of them myself. I used to freaking buy books up because I was watching somebody talking about the comic fam and the comic community and making me feel all warm and fuzzy inside my heart. And then all of a sudden I'm buying all these books because they're like, oh, it made it on this list. It made it on this one. I'm over here. I'm telling you guys why you need to pick this up. All this crap. Boom. This is one of the reasons why I freaking try to share information. I'm not going to gatekeep on anything. I try to share information with absolutely everybody on anything and everything. It's the same thing that I just shared information with the ult about the Ultimate Black Panther issue number two and T'Challa's future child with Storm. I told everybody there was a kid already in play within Marvel by the name of Azari T'Challa. Go and check out that video. All of that information is out there. I could have gatekeeped that. I could have been one of these guys that said, yo, I'm going to go ahead and buy a whole freaking plethora of this Avengers run and just freaking try to sell it on everybody and make everybody. Nah, man, what I try to do is I try to prevent you guys from feeling all warm and fuzzy and cozy when people are telling you, guys, this book is hot. This book, uh, you, you need to invest it. No, get it when it's freaking $2.99. $4.99, whatever the hell the cover price, a dollar if you find it somewhere where they have a dollar bin. That's what the hell we talk about here. All right. Uh, Lee Rogers said, uh, if the bids do not receive the price they want, they just have the shills outbid everyone. Of course, they do it themselves. They do it themselves, man. They do it themselves, my brother. I, I freaking, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Brian Klaas said, I found it's really hard to make money on selling slabs online anyway. Slab your own stuff and collect for love of the hobby. That's honestly what I do. That's honestly all I do. If I want to put something in a protective case, I just buy it myself and I just put my comic book in there, call it a day. They're not really doing anything. They're not taking any steps to prevent my paper from at one point withering the hell away. It's not. Listen, protect your stuff from the sun. That's probably about the best thing. As long as you even put your book inside of a sleeve and a backboard, you're good to go. You're good to go. Uh, comic noob is in the building. Good morning, man. Some beat you. What's going on, my, my brother? He said, I'm sending my comments to get slabbed to DYS. <laughs> Damn. All right. Hey, listen, listen, you got to do what you got to do. Like I said, in this game and anything collectibles, collect how you love. Don't, don't get swayed into collecting things that you don't want to. Don't. I was there. I freaking did it. I'm guilty of that shit. I always keep telling this to people. I'm not freaking one of those. That's going to, I'm a humble person. I'm not going to come out and say, yo, I've never done that, you dummies. No, I have. That's why I learned from it. I learned from that shit. Um, Lee Rogers said, just saw a fake Jim Lee signature on eBay. It was not even a good fake. And brother, I, I, I can go through eBay and just go through absolutely everything. And you can just, honestly, you can tell apart who's selling fakes, who's selling the real stuff. It, it's it's crazy. And again, this is why I do say I do encourage this. I'm going to start it myself where I'm going to start highlighting people who definitely deserve your time of day. Those are the people that we want to that, that we want to give you know our money to. These are the people that we know we can trust. These are the people that you know that you're not going to get freaking, you know, that you're not going to get freaking, uh, you know, the wool pulled over your eyes by them. That's that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I do agree with that with a lot of people. We need to highlight more of the good people than we are highlighting all the bad, but at the same time, with the good comes the bad and with the bad comes the good, right? So we still have to highlight all this bullshit because there's a lot of people that still refuse to speak up about it. So they reach out to me. So if they reach out to me, I'm perfectly fine with freaking pulling that up, uh, you know, spilling the beans on everything. Because as long as I know that I have the proof, I do my research, I go back, I find receipts, and I know that everything is 100% accurate. You better believe I'm going to be on here talking about the damn thing. And like many people have said, if you're on my radar, I don't know what to tell you, man. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, GTK Comics said, great story, though. Good read. The story was good. I won't take it away from that. But it's, it's very damning. Again, very damning evidence of what happens with a lot of these books. 
Very freaking damning evidence. That that's one thing I got I got to put out there, man. Uh, Max in City says still was a decent. Yeah, it was. It wasn't the greatest thing on earth. It was really freaking good for what it was. I enjoyed it. Uh, Joseph Osborne said, "Want there a first print and not first print, dude? That there, there was it, this book was a lot. There was one that uh, again, there was a lot of stuff happening with that book too. So another thing that was happening with this book was that there was uh, a so-called little ash can that came out. Right? I had I used to have one. Um, I don't even know if I have it or not. I think I might have sold it to somebody for like twenty bucks. Um, and when I remember having that book, all of a sudden something came out in reference uh, to Bad Idea. Bad Idea, uh, they came out and they said something that they were not the ones who allowed the publishing of that book. But then things that I was hearing was saying otherwise. That, you know, you guys all know about Dinesh, that Dinesh was the one that allowed that to happen. But then try to put it again, a bad idea. That's the reason why the hell the man's company is called Bad Idea. That's why I'm assuming coming up with all these crazy freaking ideas, giving people stuff off of their employees' desks. If if you won things, they were coming out. I do give Dinesh that. They come up with very interesting ways of selling their comic book. But when you start to freaking when when confusion starts to spread in reference to that ash can and those. And those freaking ash cans were all over were all over the place. I don't even know if you if uh if you could freaking find them, but let me see if I if I can find this uh freaking uh Inayak ash can. Um uh, but it those things those things were absolutely everywhere, man. And and for, and here you go, yeah, there you go. So for anybody that, that that thinks I'm making shit up and never dealt with this damn book, here you go. All right, so this was the ash can. This was apparently not allowed by Bad Idea, and then a lot of the opposite was being said. They were saying that somebody was just randomly printing this shit out and making small promo uh, ash cans of it, and then all of a sudden the word came out saying that, oh yeah, that that was a that that was a lie about that story. And then I start to put two and two together, and I was like, it makes freaking sense because what do people do? What what do we do as collectors? We're all gullible of this shit. When you start hearing these stories, you're like, oh, man, there's controversy behind this. There's controversy. So I want that fucking book now. There's controversy behind this ash can right here. I want it even more now. Even more. I don't know how the hell this person has this at $300. And, and, this, is, and this is what the market's at right now on this shit. I have no freaking idea. Maybe this thing must be sitting up here for a good reason. Um, they also included that bad idea crash promotional module thing or whatever the hell it is. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe that's where they were trying to go with this. Who the hell knows? Um, let me see. Uncensored Nerds is in the building. What's going on, my brother? Good to see you, Tim. Uh, he said, I say, interview the people who made weekly top tens. Ask them what they, uh, uh, what they thought when they put this book on their show because they did their research. Hey. It's a lot of questions, a lot of freaking questions. Uh, Luis Bagan said, one of the OGs is Living Dead Comics, a.k.a. Arkham Comics, Dan from Vegas. All right, so there you go, man. There you go. Luis Bagan is highlighting somebody out there. Matt Collect said, Tom told me to buy this. Uh, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Nothing. Nothing. You just you, you fell in love with a character. That's all I'm going to put out there. Same thing I did. You fall in love with a lot of different characters out there in this world. And when you fall in love with them, you're going to do whatever they say because you believe them. You take their word. Word is bond, right? You're going to take their word. You're going to follow it. And you're going to say, hey, uh, you know, this person, I, I like their their attitude, their demeanor. They exude this, this you know, the, this, this warmth and comfort, all these butterflies and funny feelings I get. I call it diarrhea. All right. If you feel that, I call it diarrhea. Just know, you, you, everybody knows, everybody's savvy enough to realize when the hell you're getting screwed over and when a whole bunch of bullshit is being spread out. It's the same thing with absolutely every single one of these books. Um, also, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, shout out to my, to my boy, Brian McClay, right? So Brian McClay uh, made a post. Uh, let me see if I could get to it real quick. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, so Brian McClay made a post in reference to a book. I know that he's going to be talking about this on his channel. Um, I'll, I'll touch on, you know, a little bit on this, but I will tell you right now, 
this this is going to be uh, the next talk. Make sure to go watch him. Maybe I might uh, jump on his channel. I know he sends the uh, link to me. Uh, but you look at this, and, and then you look at this art. And Brian McClay made this post, if you guys have not seen it. Uh, he just said, uh, I just recently had an industry of comics episode where we talked about cosplay variants and IP infringement. This is exactly the thing that we don't need in comics. Grifters who either don't give a shit about the comic community or grifters that only care about the money or both. Uh, this Saturday's comic drama alert. I'm sure we'll be uh, talking about this release. So tomorrow, tune in for that. That's going to be a very interesting freaking talk. And for anybody that has not seen this book, this is making its ways. Again, this all that controversy of people doing real art versus fake art. Uh, Brian McClay did a good, uh, a hell of a video on the industry. Uh, what, what the hell is that guy's name? I, I can't remember these two gentlemen's name, uh, but they were on there and they were going at it with each other about their artists and that their artists do AI. And one guy is like admits, hey, I do AI. Another artist saying, hey, I don't. Listen, if you cannot freaking show me, this is the proof. If you can't show me that you can draw with a pencil and a piece of paper the same way you do this shit, then that means you're not an artist to me. All right. That, that's just plain and simple. I've seen people at cons who put out covers and then you go to get a remark from them and they look like they're drawing stick figures on it. It has, doesn't look nothing remotely close to what the hell was on the cover of their freaking uh, of their comic book. Freaking doesn't. Uh, it, it, it boggles my mind how people want to sit there and believe some of these folks. I, I've been watching this and I continue to watch it. And I'm like, yo, you know very well. Your art don't look nothing like that. So you could tell for right here something that I don't I don't even know what symbol this is. I think this WonderCon, I have no freaking idea. Um, but you see all this crap right here. I mean, tit for tat. What did you draw? You literally took this picture and, and just did something over it. You just put a filter over it to make it seem like you drew something. I, I again to each their own. Uh, DJ Moonchild in the building, what's going on? Uh, PSA just getting exposed as cards getting switched with low grades as well now for sports. Hey, you see, this is why I try to tell people it's in the whole fucking collector. And for people not to get upset about this shit is beyond me personally. I'd be fucking pissed because you guys, myself, we all spend a crap ton of money. Whenever I used to buy slabs from people, I spent a crap ton of money. And now when I start to question, I'm like, yo, I bought this from somebody else, and then when I didn't want it any longer, I got rid of it, and I sold it to somebody. How the hell can I sit here and be like, yo, is that shit even real? Is the damn, is the contents within this plastic even real? I, I, I question this crap all the time now. It's something that, again, I just became self-aware of over the years because of all the crap that was happening to me. Um, and this is this is one of the reasons why I just tell people, man, be very freaking careful when you're buying anything that has been graded. You don't know what's in the guts of that plastic. You honestly don't anymore. There was a guy too that got freaking exposed by Brian McClay and a guy that was selling freaking uh, copies, reprints, his own facsimiles that he was printing out. Those damn things look freaking really good. Really good. He was even selling freaking copies of that Wolverine 1, that 1 in 50, that, that freaking J. Scott Campbell that people that, you know, that's a rare freaking book, right? Was selling books at those things. You, I don't even know if you would be able to tell the difference. Like, that's what I, I try to, you know, I, I try to better comprehend with people is like, how are you not mad about that? Are you that, you know, like that, that, that freaking type of person that's like, you know what? I have the money. I don't care. Here you go. I'm sorry, but I want the real stuff. I don't want nothing fake. I, I want the real stuff, man. It, it's, it's freaking insane. Comic News says you cannot trust anyone when money is involved. That goes for everything. Comic stocks, life. Trust me, man. I dabble in the stock market. I, I find it super crazy how, again, the government, I don't care about getting political with this crap, but the government, you see people walking in there, in the doors, and all of a sudden they're coming out with a with a freaking six-figure salary. I'm talking about 120 grand, 140, things of that nature, and all of a sudden you're coming out a millionaire. You know when to buy. You know when to get rid of stock. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing, right? Same shit is happening all over the place now. Uh, he said, let me see, Manny, my brother's in the building. Uh, he said, bad idea uh, turned out to be a bad idea. People have been saying that for a freaking uh, eons now, man, for eons. 
I know I know somebody specific that I'm gonna have to bring on the show who has forever talked about it. They they got respect for Dinesh, but at the same time they're like, yo, why? Why? Why are people doing this? Uh it it, it is it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh DJ Moontow said, told Dinesh to just buy Valium back. Might, might as well. Might as well. Uh Murray K. Morrison said, Remark Doodle suck hard. Oh, and that will be fine. Thank you. That's the shit that again. That is the shit that I don't understand. Victoria said that's Uma. Of course, yeah. Look at this. 100% same as the picture. They just added some drawing in there and was like, ah, here we go. And now you put it on the cover. And this is why I have a problem about art books. And that's what Brian McClay covered on his uh, on his channel. He, uh, he went on there. He covered it. And he told everybody on that industry show that he has every Tuesday night. Um, and they, the people were going at it. I fucking don't agree with these art books, but they're all over the place. And guess who's doing it now? Guess who's doing it now? Somebody was just mentioning him. Somebody had loves to do battle damage stuff. Yeah, that guy. And now he did one for good old Epic. So there you go. Matt Collect said McFarlane chose AI uh, AI art uh, for his art. Yes, facts. Which I thought uh, which I thought was a complete freaking bull, just complete utter bullshit. Utter freaking bullshit. Again, you don't need nothing. If I if I would have known that, folks, I would have gone on some AI freaking website and I would have just said, hey, I want Spawn to wear a cowboy hat, to wear some assless chaps, and I probably would have won. That's that's what you that's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. Uh GTK comic, what book is that? Uma Thurman. This is a book that's that's uh coming out. Um, I, I have no idea. It's an art book. You know how they try to get away with this bullshit all the time. It's an art book. It's an art book. It, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, uncensored nerds. He said it's from Bloodhaven Night. What not crooks? Come on, Daryl. You better than that. Everyone knows what not influence of people with Tom Circles or crooks. That is not news. Nah, man. I'm just sharing what the hell is gonna is. It's the next hot trending topic here. Today we were talking about CGC. This is gonna be the upcoming shit right here. Um, GTK Kami says, "You think uh, you know the stock market insider trading? Just go down uh, the Keep It uh, Thorough Comics, Nancy Pelosi stock trading insider dealings rabbit hole, Illuminati shit that level facts, dude. I don't even want to get into that or that. I would have to start a brand new channel to start talking about that bullshit. Trust me, that that crap pisses me off beyond belief. You want to talk about somebody that needs to be in prison? It's that lady." That lady. Uh, Furbird the nerd in the building. What's going on, my brother? Good to see you. Max in City says, uh, do you feel conflict regarding you and McClay's differences and opinions at times? He supports some things that you speak against. Of course, bro. That that's yo, that, that's just a natural beast. But here's the thing. I respect McClay for the fact that he'll come out and he'll stand on his own two feet and say what he wants to say and how he feels about certain things. And I'm gonna stand on my two feet. But he respects me for it, and I respect him for that. You see what I'm saying? The respect is mutual. What I hate is when motherfuckers are like, you know, they start talking and then all of a sudden they want to run away when you're having a conversation because they don't agree with what you're saying. But they want you to listen to them. That I don't agree with. Brian McClay, I give him tons of credit, man. Give him props. Do I agree with everything he talks about? Absolutely fucking not. Just like he doesn't agree with everything I say. Just like I know a lot of you folks out there. I've had people here in the chat who have said to me on plenty of occasions, Yo, bro, I, I don't agree. I, I don't agree with you on this. Yo, respect. Respect. Because I fucking love that. I love to see that people aren't always in agreement with me, bro. I love that. I'm glad to see y'all standing on your two feet, solid on the freaking ground with not, uh, not budging nothing. I like to see that. And if you do agree with me, then cool. If you don't, cool. I have no problem. The only ones I fucking I can't stand are the motherfuckers that want to get in the kitchen and cook with a chef and they can't stand the heat in that bitch. Those are the motherfuckers that I don't stand. And those are the motherfuckers I will walk the fuck away from and I'll be like, okay, get the fuck out of my kitchen then. That that's that's how I keep it, man. That's why I will forever keep it freaking thorough. That's one of the reasons why I tell everybody, the people that have been supporting the channel here, you guys are the ones, man. You guys are the ones that keep me motivated. You guys are the ones that keep me pushing. There's going to be a lot of shit that I'm going to be talking about and touching base on that a lot of people are not going to like, and I'm okay with that. I go to sleep at night and I put my head on a pillow and call it a day. 
I don't I don't care, dude. As long as I know that the facts are facts, I will call them allegations all day long because people love that word. But when the facts are facts and the receipts are longer than CV, uh, CVS, you ain't got a damn thing to be worried about. And this is what I would hope. What I want to encourage is more people to come out and talk about all this, this fucking bullshit because it just keeps on happening. If you guys remotely, I feel like I've only given you guys 20% of what I know because there's certain things that I can't freaking share with you guys out of respect to people who have come forth to me and have said, hey, um, if you wouldn't mind, you know, I just want to keep this between me and you. And that's what I do. I don't talk about it. I don't talk about it to nobody. Not even my wife knows. Not like she cares, but she don't know. That's how that's how that's how freaking how 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 I am about stuff like that. I treat it like if I was still on the job, yo. Same thing. I would never provide victims information to a criminal. Come on. That, that's that that's just common sense. It's it's like, yo, uh, Matt Collect said assless chaps. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you, I would have won. I would have won. I would have won, man. That's uh, that yo, let me tell you, I would have won with that. Uh, D Metz is in the building. What's going on, my man? Uh, quick summary. See, uh, CGC just cares about money and not the customers. Got it. Pretty fucking much, bro. Pretty freaking much. In layman's terms, D, D Metz said it best. We got my brother Red Hood in the building. What's going on, my brother? Good to see you. Run me through. Joining us. Said, like this video. You love CGC ripping you off. Uh, and a big ear to my man, the comic book G man. Please make sure to subscribe to my brother. He's out there. He's trying to keep it as real as possible. There's a lot of things that this man is not liking in the industry. Uh, so if you get a chance, go and check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he said, yes, been holding my gem. They could kiss my ass. He says, love you, man. A truth and justice in the comic book. Way, uh, lays uh, way lays keeping it real, my friend. All day, my brother. I really, really appreciate that a ton. So we're done, folks. I appreciate everybody's time. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful, beautiful morning, Friday morning, the rest of the Friday, rest of the freaking weekend. Enjoy, folks. Keep keep yourselves, like I said, man, put your damn feet on the ground. If you know something wrong is happening within the so-called community, call that shit out. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to you. Nobody. All right? That's what the hell I'm going to put out there. That is my freaking message all day, every day. Besides that, remember, be savage, not average. And again, I always, there's only one person I ever bow down to, and that is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, that is about it, folks. Other than that, peace out, man. Be safe. I love all of y'all. Enjoy. Take care of that mind, too, man. Again, I, I know that I need to reiterate this to everybody. Take care of your mental health. I know everybody wants to wait for Mental Health Awareness Month or not. Nah, listen. I am an advocate because I dealt with it. Everybody, man, you are all valued, guys. You are all valued. I know you guys aren't going to tell me everything that's happening in your life, but you are all valuable. We need you on this earth, okay? Take care of that mind of yours, man. There is no better freaking thing. If you let that mind of yours overtake you, it, that's it. That's it. It's over. Trust me, I went down that freaking road. I don't wish it upon nobody, not even my freaking worst enemy. But I will tell you right the hell now, man. I value each and every one of you. If you are not following me here on Instagram at Keep It Thorough, make sure you do. Check out my stories. My stories every single day. I post something up on my stories to help freaking uplift you if you need that. We all need that. All right. Other than that, man, peace out, man. Love all of y'all. Have a great time. Don't forget to leave a comment about today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that CGC did anything for you in reference to this case? I just said it. They absolutely didn't do nothing. All right. So until next time, folks, peace out later.